The following is a product review by Fish Camp TV. All right, today we're going to do a product review of the 410, which is a medium ultralight spinning rod made by B&M Fishing. All right, so let's talk briefly for a minute about the rod specs, okay? So it's rated for two to six pounds uh, lure weight. Um, it is considered medium action, and they don't say it, but the power level is light because this is an ultralight rod. Okay, uh, it feels great in my hands. Uh, it's got some nice wobble, yet it doesn't feel flimsy or cheap. Uh, it is a super good looking rod. It's very attractive, the coloring and everything. It does not feel cheap or seem cheap at all. Um, what we're going to do here is take the tag off, the plastic, and put a reel on here so we can actually see what's going on. So I went ahead and put a reel on it. Let's change the camera angle and try out our rod. All right, guys, we've got the camera turned around. Let's go ahead and give this rod a cast. Now watch, watch the, the rod tip. Now watch, watch. Did you see the rod tip? You see how it bent? That rod tip just bent. You see how limber this rod is? That's, we just went out there 20 feet. That's impressive. So that's what an ultralight rod is designed to do, what I just did. I sent that thing out there so far with no effort. Why? Because see how, how limber the rod is? That's what you want. If you're going to buy a rod calling itself ultralight, it needs to do what this one is doing, which is it can send out a very light lure far because it's, it's the same principle as a diving board and a swimming pool. You, get, you go down, you load up, and then it springs you up. Sorry about the shake. It springs you up, and that's the same concept uh, that, that applies here. Is it, you On the back cast, that rod bends for you, and then w when it unbends itself, that's what will spring and make that tiny, tiny lure. Like this, this porcupine quill doesn't weigh anything. It's very light. And as you see, it's sent it out there very far. The rod is, uh, is what does it, and each rod is peculiar. Regardless of the writing on it, the, the, the specs or whatever, regardless of that, each rod behaves its own way. And I gotta say, this one is, I'm pretty impressed. Look, 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 ooh, we almost had a fish right there, guys, look. Look, come on, get the hook, get the hook. Ah, <laughs> all right, as you see, it wasn't a hard fight, but look at the rod, look at the rod. That's how it's gonna handle for you. You see how that bend? That fish weighs nothing, and yet you see how that rod is giving me some bend? I wish it would have been a longer fight, but I got him up pretty quick. But that's the thing, that's the thing, is you want... It's got a good bit of bend in it right now, off this tiny, tiny fish. Now imagine if this would be like a sackler or something, uh, you guys call them crappie, something a little bigger, like a crappie. Um, imagine how much bend you would get. That, so this is a nice fit. This type of fish, a small fish like this, is a good fit for this rod. Because you see it's bending the right amount. Um, that's what ultralight is designed to do. Now let's take the fish off. Alright, he was gracious enough to bite on our cricket. Let's take him off. And I'll just show you just how small of a fish this, this really is. Look. That's a small fish. And yet he was bending the rod a little bit. That's the thing. Even small fish will give you a good feeling on an ultralight rod. Even a small one like this. Because uh, that's what they're designed for. They're, design they're not designed for big game. Let's put this guy back. Let let's put him back. Look. Let's just let him go. Watch this. There he goes. There he goes. Alright, that that's the rod, guys. Look. Here it is. And I know people are going to ask me, this video is not about the reel, but just in case people, they're going to ask, just a Shakespeare Micro, okay? Shakespeare Blue, it says, Micro Series. This video is about the, the, the rod, the 410, which is made by B&M Fishing, a medium ultralight spinning rod. And I just gave you the review of it, and I'd have to say thumbs up. I'd have to say I do recommend it. It, it It's a, uh, being four feet ten inches, uh, it's a short rod, but if you're going to go fish under bridges, tight cramped spaces where there's trees look at the tree right here look at that tree see the trees all around me if you're going to go fish in tight spots 
You don't want a long rod. That'll get you in trouble. You'll get yourself all hung up. For what it is, this is a nice little rod, uh, guys. I'll put a link in the description, for more info, where you can buy the rod, all that stuff. But basically, again, I would have to say I'm very impressed. The 410 is a nice, for what it is, is a nice little ultralight rod for bluegill, uh, all your sunfish, your sunfishes, uh, crappie, uh, small bass even, you know, uh, rainbow trout, stock trout, whatever, whatever. Any kind of small fish, this is right up your alley. I'd have to say... I like it. I think it handled well. I think it casts well, as I showed you. And as I showed you, even small fish, it it feels good when you're fighting the fish. So I'd have to say I recommend the rod, and I hope you enjoyed this review. I'm going to try to bring you guys some more reviews just like this one. So thank you for watching my product review, and I will see you next time on Fish Camp TV.